Are you serious? Are you serious? Go ahead and get some coffee. Calm down because Kim Jong-un may have decided not to go Kim Jong-boom. Or at least not this soon. Well, here's what's going on. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un received a report from his army on its plans to strike the area around Guam and said he will match the actions of the United States. He will watch us a little closer, a little while longer before making a decision. And the North's official news agency is releasing that information today. Quote, the United States, which was the first to bring numerous strategic nuclear equipment near us, should first make the right decision and show through the actions if they wish to ease the tensions on the Korean Peninsula and prevent a dangerous military clash. Now, Kim was cited as saying in the report by KCNA, the North leader ordered the army should always be fire ready, should be should he make a decision for action? And the reports also go on to say that Kim Jong-un will always stay ready in case of any type of a provocation or an attack by the United States. So basically what Kim Jong-un is saying is this, I'm not going to fire the missiles. And United States, it's your fault. And if you would back down, we'll back down. That's what I'm hearing. Which means, I think that the uh, diplomacy side of things, the back rooms, there must be some progress going on in the discussion. And I think Kim Jong-un realized that, that he was messing with somebody he didn't want to go any further with. This wasn't Barack Obama. This isn't George W. Bush. or this not even uh, Bill Clinton. No, he was dealing with a different type of president. One that when he says something, he usually does, well normally does everything he says and he hit he, Trump has shown great restraint through this believe it or not and has allowed the generals to set up uh their uh literally set up such a overwhelming show of force and um repositioning of uh, military assets so significant that even China and Russia has said, hey, you know, you might want to back down. So really, it is, uh, this is good news, really. This is good news. I think things can start to calm. North Korea, though, is going to be still upset if they don't get some money. And if the sanctions continue, which Trump plans on keeping them on them, and if, if China doesn't go around the back door and still trade with North Korea like they said they weren't going to do, then we can bring this guy to his knees and get him to turn around and start to talk about how to uh, disarm. But if China continues to feed him and break the uh, UN Security Council resolution, then we will still be dealing with Kim Jong-un. And I would suspect that's exactly what's going to happen. We're not out of the woods yet. And he might just lay low for two, three days. And on the day of the eclipse, he might fire the missiles. You don't know. But just keep uh, keep praying, keep uh, really seriously keep praying that cooler heads prevail. But that is the initial report. But we've seen Kim Jong Un change his mind on a dime. So just take a deep breath, everybody. Everybody, take a deep breath. Maybe there is, maybe there is a, a calm for now. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. I'm going to go get a second cup of coffee because I think this is good good news for now. At least I may have enough time to get that second cup in back before he shoots the rockets. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ because there's no peace in this world. There'll never be peace in this world. The only peace that you'll ever have in your life is the peace of Jesus Christ. He is the Prince of Peace. and He'll give you that. And then no matter what goes on, you'll, you will have this confidence that you're in the hand of the Lord. Believe me, that's the only way to live.